What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for their toony, their terrors? They're gonna raise your errors. Hey, what's that? Let's take a look. It's time for a closer up. That's right, nerdlings. It's time to get naked. Toys, not na not naked. Not I'm leaving my clothes toys. on. NECA is a very fun toy line. They put out so they many really do, awesome yes. toys. Uh, you have everything from like Ninja Turtles that look like the Ninja Turtles we grew up with. Mm -hmm. What we want to focus on though are the Toonie Terrors. Eh. This line is so much fun. Imagine Scooby Doo. Zoinks! <laughs> like, watch out, Scoob. That guy over there has got a chainsaw. <laughs> and imagine your favorite horror villains have come into the world of Scooby-Doo. So they have that uh, that simplified cartoony look yes. to them. And now, we love our horror movies. Oh, that we do. So, you know, combining Scooby-Doo with horror, this is perfect for us. Yes. So, shall we just begin with Wave 1? <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, one of the characters in Wave 1 is what caught our eye and really got us hooked on this series. And that would be everybody's favorite mama's boy, Mr. Jason Voorhees. I mean, look at how great he looks. He seriously looks like he jumped out of an episode of Scooby-Doo. Or he's uh, shaggy with a mask on. You know, maybe. He's got <laughs> shaggy that green went bad. shirt, the brown pants. Yeah, Shaggy had enough. I'm just waiting for smoke to start coming out of the masks on the side. <laughs> <laughs> now, something to keep in mind with the NECA figures is they have very limited articulation. Their arms move at the shoulder. It really isn't often, if ever, that you I get their a little elbow I think their wrists move movement. a little bit. The wrists do have some twisting movement, which is nice. The heads, you got the left and the right, and some figures have more of an up and down than Jason here mm -hmm. does. And of course the legs, they do that like stiff Frankenstein monster yeah. walk. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> it's very stiff. <laughs> so the only downfall to that is especially with Jason and his machete, you don't get a whole lot of yeah. uh, posability. You know, you, you can't do a whole lot with them, but they still look really neat out of the box. And there's some really good detail on them, even being a simplified toy. I mean, you know, you've got the tear in the pants and the shirt, you've got the buttons are actually a slight different color. Something cool is that the back of each Toonie Terror card. <laughs> that is a tongue twister. So the front has it like a marquee with the name of the movie. Which that I thought from. that was really cool because since they're all pretty much movie monsters. Yeah, with the uh, dead ticket tape yeah. here in there. That's great. And I like all the little details that they'll have on there. You know, like there's some spilled popcorn, there's an axe, all kinds of fun stuff. And the movie posters on the side. Mm -hmm. It's their movie poster on the side. But on the back, you get a little backdrop for your Toonie Terror. So of course, Jason's got the woods right here. Now, there was something that you could not resist doing. I with could Jason. not resist doing because he's. I don't have a love of the game, but I have for some reason a love of the 8 bit Jason. And thanks to uh, Russ Lyman, he uh, showed how easy it was to get yourself your very own 8 bit Jason. And of course, we kept the card. <laughs> He really does look great painted up in that purple and teal color scheme. So a very easy do-it-yourself project. It is project. very easy. You just go out and you get, you know, the two, basically it just takes the two different colors. Russ painted this, his machete, but I left it alone. I didn't want to paint the machete, but it is so easy. And it's even easier because the 8-Bit Jason doesn't have the red marks. So I didn't have to figure out where the red marks go. <laughs> Next in wave one, we have the two Penny Wise. Penny, Penny Wheeze? Penny Wheezes? P Penny Wizzles. Yeah. You have the Tim Curry Fantastic original. I'm sorry, but the best Penny Wise. <laughs> <laughs> do you have Prince Albert in a can? You do? You better let him out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then of course the more 
gruesome, scarier, modern Pennywise. Although, I don't know if you ask me, the original is a little more scary because, He's, I mean, that could be anyone. Exactly. But there's just something scarier about not scary. Because he was very normal looking the whole time. Which, face it, a lot of people think clowns are freaking scary to begin with. You don't need to make them creepier. And then he would get that scary face. Spooky ghost mouth! That's a zero. Now, again, just real quick, pretty much the same articulation. A little bit in the legs and the arms. Nothing in the elbow, the head. Uh, this one here, he doesn't get all contorted, so you can't have him creepily crawling out of a refrigerator. <laughs> But in both instances, they came with a balloon. They did come with balloons. Do you have a balloon? Uh, no. Oh, wait, yes. Okay. And the fact that they put them on a wire so the balloons could stand up, I thought was a great touch. This Pennywise doesn't have nearly as much movement as that one does. All he has are his arms move and his head will not go back and forth. That's just about it. He doesn't have any movement anywhere else. But he is a good, thick, He solid is a very good, too. solid figure, yes. Well, the only other thing that the modern Pennywise came with was the SS Georgie boat that uh, he's just trying to give back to the little kid looking down the storm drain. <laughs> he doesn't hold the boat very well, so as I was afraid of losing it, so I did get some sticky tack and sticky tack it to his hand. The other thing that I was a little annoyed with was in both of their hands, both Pennywise's hands, there's a little hole for the balloon string to go through, but it's too small on both of them. And I was actually, it was peeling the, the plastic off of the wire. So I basically just had to kind of wrap it around and kind of tie it off. Now, yet again, they came with the same boards. You have the uh, dead ticket taker, the marquee. And then if you look closely on the sides, you have some movie posters. Mm -hmm. And on the back of modern, Pennywise, you have the sewers with the Losers Club with the uh, V scratched out over the S. And then for Pennywise, we just have the library, the famous library. <laughs> Well, there is only one more figure from Wave 1. And that would be Mr. Kruger. Oh, the ghoul of your screams. Don't miss me. He's only got movement in his arms going up and down, and his head will turn left or right. Everything else is very stationary on him. The only accessory he comes with is a platform to stand on because he doesn't like to stand very well without it. Which is very curious because as we get to some of the later figures, there are more characters that they probably could have used a nice base to be yes. put on. Does his hat come off? No, it's it's on his head. So don't go ripping it yeah. off, kitties. I've got the brain. You and I both kind of had a little bit of issue with his gloved hand. Yeah, because when you look at it, it looks like they're just kind of uh, tacked on to the top of the the very end of the fingertip. Mm -hmm. And I thought they could have put a little more effort into that. Maybe make it look like they're part of the finger, not glued on as an afterthought. Yeah. And of course, he comes with his card back with the nice boiler room as you see there. So if things get too terrifying, you know, just reach your arm out and tss, that'll wake you right up. Honestly, the thing that got us into this was Jason though. Yes, and then when we saw the Freddy figure, we were like, oh, well, we've got to have Freddy and Jason. Mm -hmm. And once we started to see more Wave 2 figures come out, that's when we went back and picked up the Pennywise mm -hmm. characters. Yep, but I'm actually pretty pleased that we're, you know, trying to complete this set because we love horror movies and it's just fun. Yes, the only thing that is kind of weird about Wave 1 is having two characters, two similar characters. I get that they're from different movies yeah. and different versions, but it's not like you had a different Jason from each movie, which I wouldn't want that because mm -hmm. my wallet, please <laughs> don't. 
but I did still think this was a little odd. It is weird because I remember we picked it up when Wave 2 had come out. And so I actually thought that the first It was in Wave 1 and the second It <laughs> was in Wave 2. So yeah, it was kind of weird to find out that no, they were in the first wave together. Thanks, Toby. Hold for dog farts. <laughs> <laughs> I realize I don't know what rhymes with terror. <laughs> Herror, merror, bearer, <laughs> fowler. They're gonna Jeff. scare. You ready? Yes. No. Sorry, gotta got an itch. Cocaine itch. <laughs> 